Yo, what is up? Uh, I'm Tom for a uh, quarterly update or whatever the hell. Um, want to give a quick shout out to my podcast. I have a one. It's called the Podcast. You can catch us on Spotify or some shit. You know, just type in P O D C U S S Podcast. All right, there you go. Um, you know, I, I we do. I mean, I've talked with my friend Chad and about some. You know, most of it's game shit. Sometimes current events, game shit, and then um, you know, occasionally some IRL shit every once in a while. Um, Want to give some shout outs to um, some peeps. Uh, thank you, Mr. I Beat, for getting me a, a cool game. It's called Hunt Down. I'm probably gonna play it sooner or later. Try to sneak it in sometime this um, summer if I can. It's freaking a tight schedule for what I got planned though. Uh, but the Hunt Down. Thank you, Mr. I Beat. Um, my friend Jason got me Resident Evil 8. Um, I decided not to do a playthrough here, but I did do a, a review. Um, freaking awesome. Highly recommend it. Um, not super, uber, perfect, amazing, but, man, it was really good and really fun. Um, ran great on PC. And, uh, did some willing dealing with my friend, uh, Drew. And I have Ghost of Goblins Resurrection for Steam. I have, I don't know when the hell I'm going to get to that. Um... I'm actually pretty good at the Ghost of the Goblin games. They're they're not as hard as you think they are. You just um, they, they got small checkpoints, so you just kind of just just I just want the checkpoint. Just get to the fucking checkpoint and progress the game, and that actually will get you through the game. Uh, and just don't count your deaths. Who cares how many times you die? Seven thousand million. Um, now I heard it, Ghost of Goblins Resurrection or Ghouls and Ghosts. I don't know what the hell they're calling it. Um, I heard it's pretty really close to the Genesis version, or at least it seems like it is. Um, which was Ghouls and Ghosts, and that actually ended up being my favorite one, even though I've not played it very much. Freaking Ghouls and Ghosts is great. Um, now, my plan for, um, well, um, I had originally planned to do, um, try to take my long, my long playthroughs and just try them as like, you know, very large files, like 10 hour files. It's like, oh well. I was like, okay, if I take a game that's normally like 30, hours or whatever and i make 30 plays an hour a piece that's a that's it's like 30 days and like it's a bunch of the upload and it was a whole bunch of work to keep go through and do descriptions and shit for it and i'm like what if i just did like you know three 10 hour plays a piece um what i found is that i have crappy ass at&t dsl internet and my upload is literally 1.5 it'll take me like four or five days to get these damn files uploaded and then like half the time freaking um youtube was like we're gonna process your shit and it's like we ain't processing shit we give up delete video it's the only option i have is delete video i'm like i just spent days uploading this shit and you just said fuck it um so and then i wasn't consistent about uploading it my plan was to you know i was thought it's like if these long videos were probably um doing um hurting the growth of my channel whatever uh, but that was about my channel was also basically just the, the long videos. That's what mainly what it is. And so I'm like freaking out. Um, I ended up losing like a third of my average um, <laughs> freaking monthly views. That's great, man. Just just let's kick them all out. And we'll, we'll get them shits back somehow or another. Um, I was out for a while with um, I had some um, medical shit going down. And I don't want to get into the gritty, gritty details, but uh, all, all I can say is, you know, you guys need to take your fiber. And if it, you ever run into anybody on the internet and you say that they're hashtag butthurt, um, be considerate, man. Because uh, being ass mad re really sucks, dude. <laughs> Real life ass mad is terrible. Um, so anyway, after Neo 2, um, which I think is going to be, I'm not sure exactly, it'll be done before the end of June. Um, Neo 2 is freaking awesome. It's freaking amazing. It's beautiful, man. It's fucking beautiful. Um, you should get that game. Uh, but uh, after Neo 2, this guy is 6, which comes out, I believe it's on the 29th. I might start it before then because I know there's a demo out. I'm going to try to get that up as soon as I can and get on a, a nice schedule just to get that out. Um, on this guy is 6, I'm not going to run through and try to do all of the bail everything i'm just probably going to play through the main story and then probably get the extra hidden characters or whatever um i don't even know if i'll get the dlc characters um i enjoyed playing 120 something hours on this guy of five but after about hour 60 where you're just grinding and doing shit you just start freaking the fuck out um and it's like wow wow uh <laughs> it's like this game never ends and, and it was so much work um i've heard that they've redone this guy a whole lot 
They have uh, took a lot of shit out, but it needed to. It was getting really bloated. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited to play that on my Switch. Um, July 25th is Samurai Warriors 5. And I've still not to this day done a big Warrior game playthrough. Um, besides maybe like Sinran Kagura type shit. Uh, I've not done a big Warriors game. so I, uh, And I'm a big fan of Warriors games. Um, and so I want to do one. And this is the one. We're going to try to get this up. Um, that's July 25th. Uh, you know, I don't know how long the disc guy will run will overtake that um but probably probably around august or something i'll be starting samurai warriors 5 and now and this is the big one the one the game i'm probably most hyped for this year is going to be tales of arise and that is on september the 10th and i'll try to be ready for that as soon as it comes so i can start popping it up instantly um that's the big boy and that I, I played it was something like 90 hours on um tales of Bazaria, and i've had a blast man i enjoyed the shit out of that game and so i'll probably go through and just as i was playing Bazaria, they kept letting you up the difficulty and i kept doing it and then it was like oh i up the difficulty now i need to grind more and i just grind 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 i just just living it man i was living the dream having fun tales of rises in september um and even though I haven't been posting much for the past couple months, because you know I had, I had shit going on, I've got I got a new PC, I've got a new TV, I got all kinds of cool shit going on. I'm gonna get me some new, um, eventually a new mic, and like a new mixer. Um, even though I, I don't have stuff, I do have a almost it's almost uploaded. I've already beat it, but I have Rise of um, All DA Rise of Two. Uh, I beat it on hard mode. I think it's around 50 hours. Um, I think I only have a couple more plays to upload and then i don't know i'll just sneak that shit out um they're very large like um seven or eight hour chunks a piece and i forgot how many of those plays i got um but i have that done i'll, I'll save it for a rainy day or if i need to um my plan starting whenever i get the fuck it uh, fucking get it um i want starlink i've signed up for freaking starlink as soon as it was freaking offered man and i think that was back in february um, and so I was just waiting for Daddy Elon to get that shit for me. And I want that shit bad. And after I get uh, Starlink, um, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to stream. Uh, and I'll probably... I do have a Twitch channel. I've hardly ever used it. Um, but I'll probably do it right here on YouTube because I'm not getting any views anyway. Most uh, but popular people, they'll, they'll stream on Twitch and then uh, do the videos on YouTube because... Um, it, the algorithm kind of eats up, um, gets pissed off if you stream. It'll ki it'll kill your uh, movement. I don't have any movement, so hell, I'll stream right here on YouTube, and we'll see how that works. Um, I ha I'm starting to fiddle with OBS and shit. I've never really had to worry about it because um, I'd use it only once, or twice before. But because I always use the Elgato freaking software, lazy as fuck. But um, El the Elgato software is pretty much obsolete, um, so. Uh, so uh, we're, we're, we're getting in that and hopefully get some streaming going um, and so that's the plan for the summer and I, it's a lot of RPGs and all the new releases but that's what I'm interested in right now um, I need to get me some retro shit played uh, and go back to it but I just haven't I don't, I really don't have time right now there's a lot of cool Japanese games coming out over the summer that I want to play um, so I might have time for more retro shit uh, this this winter time we'll have to see um but uh thanks remember to like subscribe uh ring my ding dong bell um visit my my podcast and then i also put that shit up on youtube right here in this channel too so um so that's where we're at right now um i'm hoping to be back regular uh but i still got medical dumb shit i've got to do but you know <clears throat> that's life bro it means what happens you get old you get it old and you get fucked up we got some arthritis going on in my left hand that's great man um Oh yeah, this this the game I had right here was Guilty Gear. That freaking Guilty Gear. I don't I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but it's fun as hell, man. So um, try that game out. Try that out. <laughs>